DJ's Brew Tube Mix Drink How To. That's right, guys. You see the bar supplies are out, so you know what's up. The missus has been behaving herself again, and she said, Daddy, can you make me a drink? And I said, hell yes, I will make you a drink for sure. That's my job, isn't it? Well, I, I think so. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get to making this drink. What drink are we going to make for the missus tonight? Tonight, we're going to make her a royal flush. Now, Crown Royal, whiskey drinks, bourbon drinks, whatever you want to call are real popular these days. So, you know what, but the problem is some of the whiskey, some of the scotches and bourbons are a bit too strong for the ladies. They're not liking that. So, tonight I'm gonna make a drink with Crown Royal or Canadian whiskey. Why? It's blended whiskey, tends to have a more mild flavor, mixes in really well with fruit juices and other things, and doesn't have too much of that whiskey punch, you know, that a lot of ladies don't, don't like. But, they still wanna be in that scene and maybe have a whiskey drink too. So, we got that covered, now don't we? Hell yes. Really simple drink. We've got basically three ingredients in this. We've got Crown Royal, peach schnapps, and pineapple juice. And if you want to count ice, that's four. Real simple. So let's get to drink, building this drink. We've got 1.5 ounces of Crown Royal. Boom. Pre-measured, of course, because I roll like that. We've got an ounce of peach schnapps. Put that in. Boom. Easily. We've got two ounces of Dole pineapple juice. Not fresh as canned, but that's what I have. You can use fresh also. So, got into our tin here, filled with ice. Got our ice rocks glass ready. Now we're gonna get our shake on. And what do we have to make when we do our shake? That's right, we gotta have our shake face. <laughs> you gotta be happy, man, it makes you guys a drink. That's right. Now we got that nice and shaken up. Don't wanna shake it too much to dilute it. Now, this is a pineapple juice drink. That means there's gonna be a bunch of foam. Some people don't like the foam. I've had comments where, man, I don't like that foamy stuff on the top of my drink. Problem solved, we'll double strain it. Get it into the glass. Easy breezy, no brainer kind of drink. Get it all in there. Nice, no waste, you see. If you look in here into the strainer, if you can see that, I hope so, you can see the foam's in there and it's not in the drink. We're gonna put that aside here. We've got a couple cherries. See there's a little tiny bit of foam, but it's way minimized compared to what you usually get. We got a couple cherries in there for garnish. Float that and there you have it the royal flush let's get a taste of it let's see mm, man, it smells awesome let's see wow super smooth the whiskey is totally hidden by the peach schnapps there's still you can tell it's in there but any bite from the rye that's in that whiskey is gone super smooth super easy to drink actually very dangerous drink you could drink these back to back and not even know it and it would be night night time pretty quick so there it is, the Royal Flush. Hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, as always, think globally, drink locally, and support the craft cocktail and craft beer movement. And until then, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that like button. And I got nothing but a bunch of love for you. And you know what's coming. Right? Okay.